These are the 10 most iconic traps in all of Minecraft, but my goal is to make them even better and prank my friends with them. This is the chest trap from 2013 where players would open it and fall into lava. But this right here is our new and improved chest trap. Oh, frick, Bree, I need you to get some sponge. Uh-oh. Sorry, my bad. Was that a puffer finish, Preston? What? <laughs> This is the oldest and most frustrating trap in Minecraft, but this is our new one and it's so much more frustrating. Yo, this is just like Roblox. Whoa, wait, <laughs> wait, what? why did I? Wait, why am I falling? Uh, Preston, no! Don't worry, I'll take good care of your pig. Preston, why are you doing this? I'm getting comments like these on my videos saying I suck at Minecraft apparently, and that's just not true. Hey, 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 hey. they're completely right. You suck at Minecraft and literally everyone on the server thinks so too. Well, by the end of this video, I'm gonna get you all to admit that I do not suck at Minecraft and prove everybody wrong. There is only one trap that's old enough to be made by Mojang themselves, the tree trap. In 2013, the Minecraft handbook taught players how to make this devious invention. It's so simple. You literally just find a tree and create a reverse redstone signal beneath it. Oh, and of course, add lots of TNT. When players come to mine the bottom stump, the signals cut and kaboom. This trap is already amazing, but I'm gonna make it even deadlier. Unfortunately, there is a problem with this trap because it only activates if the player chops the bottom block of the tree in order for it to explode. But what if we can make it so that they didn't have to break any block at all? That's right, we're going to use skulk sensors. With this idea, I had to start upgrading. I placed the sensor beneath the tree, attaching a dispenser to it, and if all goes according to plan, my friends will come to gather some wood, trigger the skulk sensor, causing an arrow to fire down into an end crystal, setting off all of the TNT around it. But first, I have to make sure they head this way. Okay, step one is destroying the entire forest except for the tree that has the trap. Step two is to steal all of my friend's wood. Phrasing. All of the chests must be ransacked. Yes, that's everything. Now he has no other choice but to mine the only tree nearby, which of course is... There is literally no tree next to his house except for this one, which is the trap tree. I'm gonna go uh, chop some wood. Yes, dude, yes. Oh, okay. I found a tree. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> The camo skin prank, the most basic trap to pull in all of your friends. It's incredibly satisfying to sneak past your enemies and take all of their stuff, but these days, this trap leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, for example, if you choose the wrong skin and blend into the wrong block, you can kiss that chance of stealing your friend's diamonds. Goodbye. So when it comes to upgrading this trap, I have to do something a bit unusual. First, we have to log off Minecraft, and then I messaged a friend of mine on Discord with a very special set of skills. Because this friend is a plugin developer for Minecraft and can help me upgrade this trap. The biggest problem with the camo skin is it's not very versatile. You know, to change your skin, you gotta log off Minecraft, change the skin, and log back in. So I took inspiration from the real life chameleons and asked him to make my skin automatically change based on my location. This is me standing in front of stone blocks, and this is me standing in front of a tree. And as a final measure, I added the ability to change into other player skins. It's literally perfect. Yo, this is sick. I'm waiting for one of my brothers to leave the house so I can steal a skin. All right, bro, I'll be right back. I have to go get some stuff from Ever. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, yo, I'm a simp for my wife. What's up, dude? Wait, you're back already? Yeah, man. Well, I, uh, where's just... your armor at? What do you mean? I didn't have any armor on, did I? Uh, Guys, we got some pork chops in here. Oh, this is pretty dude, why, nice, Why are dude? you going in my chest? Yeah, yeah. So where's where's my chest again? I totally forgot. That's... Just go go find it yourself. You act like you you have you, you don't <laughs> okay, live here. Dude, you can... Go find it. Jeez. Fine. That's okay. Okay. I found nothing but diamond tools. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this. It's a little bit of an upgrade. Oh wait. Maybe it's in here. <gasps> wait. This has got to be a dude. Yes. Okay. Eleven diamonds. Dude's kind of poor. It's fine. Okay, I'm in his wood now. Oh, shoot, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, my God. It's so freaking good. Where's the diamonds? Get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm, gonna take it, I'm taking the netherite, too. I think someone's in the house, bro. I think someone tricked us. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna be a bookshelf, bookshelf. Bro, I blended in so good. Wait, Caleb, where's your room with all your, your valuables? My diamonds. They're gone. Wait, Josh, you were pranking me right now. You stole my diamonds. So now Caleb is blaming Joshua for his missing diamonds. How do you not have a lock on these doors? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Caleb, Caleb, help! Help, help! Wait, wait, oh, oh, wait, Josh! Wait, Josh, why are you killing me? This is possibly my favorite trap, the TNT cannon. If you love TNT cannons as much as I do, like this video, they're so good. You can use them on a house, a village, anything at a distance. It's perfect, right? Wrong. TNT cannons still have a major issue, but we can fix this by giving it the upgrade. 
The first issue is that TNT cannons typically only aim at one spot, so we need to make this one have a massive spread that can cover multiple targets at once. Sure, it can destroy a house, but what about a pillager tower or even an entire woodland mansion? See, now that's what I'm talking about. So now that we know exactly what we want, it's time to start building. I researched the most destructive ways to design a TNT cannon and started to work on my masterpiece. And as I was getting to the end, I thought it needed a little something more. So I decided to build an awesome dragon head to make it stand out. I'm sure you're all flaming me in the comments thinking, why did you build this hidden TNT trap as a massive floating dragon head? Isn't that gonna give things away? But that is precisely what I want you to think. In fact, I intentionally built the dragon head to be facing this way towards my house. And that's because the barrel of the TNT cannon isn't in the dragon's mouth, but actually in the back of its head. Check it out, Chase. Wait guys, it looks like a big ender dragon head. Who built this? All right, this is pretty good. He's taking the bait. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Keep going. Consult us before you do that. I only push Preston's buttons. No one else's. That's true. <laughs> what if they are Preston's buttons? That's a good point, and I didn't think about it. He's at the top. Okay, I'm up here, guys. Don't worry. Everything looks all right. What Chase is seeing right now is the fake sign that I left for him, hoping he would press the button. Do not press not yet finished will explode. What? He thinks it's the self-destruct button, but it's actually the ignite TNT button. Guys, just trust me on this. Just trust me. All right, I don't think it's working. And there you have it. Wait, what's happening? Oh my gosh, no! Chase! Turn it off, Chase! No! I died! Wait, guys, what the heck? Take cover. Okay, I'm not gonna go and say anything, but there's this giant sign that says do not press, and Chase definitely pressed it. Whoa, 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 guys, come on. I don't know what- Chase, you don't walk up to a TNT cannon and just flick a lever that says do not flick. Guys, I know this doesn't look good on my end, but I, I promise. Yeah, it really does not look good, Chase, huh? Preston's been pranking us this whole time, but he didn't destroy our entire base. Chase, get out of here. This was perfect. I was trying to build their trust by framing Chase, and now I don't get to build just one trap in their village, but two. Starting with the classic, the bed trap. And if you haven't heard of this trap, I don't blame you. This trap is as ancient as debris itself, but it's very effective. Naturally, when your friends get tired of your traps and they go to sleep, you are waiting with a lever that springs out below the bed and blows them up. But this is a little boring. So to upgrade this trap, I started by adding a complex contraption to automatically blow up a small piece of TNT below the player. But this is just a mere distraction and is only fulfilled by my next trap, the lava trap. Players are gonna be rattled by the explosion from the bed trap, so naturally they're going to go outside to make sure everything's okay. And when that happens, they will step on the pressure plate I am laying down here and activate the lava trap. However, this is still yet just another distraction in my grand plan. Because when they make it through the lava outside the house, it'll be too late. Oh, what the heck? Josh, did you hear that? Phase one, they heard the bed explode. Guys, there was literally an explosion in my house. What the heck happened? Why is there lava? Phase two, the lava spawns. Caleb, what's happening? Guys, it's pouring all over the house. You can just end all of this right now and just tell me I don't suck at Minecraft anymore. We can make all this go away. Preston, we'll never admit that you don't suck because it's just not true. I think it's time for phase three. Oh no. I don't even want to do this. Ah! You know, they say pride goes before the fall, guys. It works for lava too. The sand trap. It's one of the most common traps in Minecraft and for an amazing reason. You literally place one block and there she blows. Every single block falls. It's so good. And when I was thinking about how to upgrade this one, I think it's quantity over quality all day. So in that case, I ran to the desert and started to work. I dug and I dug so much, I broke multiple shovels. I placed about a thousand signs and sand directly on top of them. And just in case this doesn't kill all of them, I placed a second layer of danger below to truly make this worthy of being called an upgraded trap. Look at me, you idiots. Whoa! Yeah, that's right, you know what I called you? Tell me I'm good at the game and I don't suck. N no, we're not saying that. Oh, really, really, it's come to this, huh? Preston, I am speechless. Oh, nice pearl, Chase. Maybe you should get hit by this. <laughs> Come back here, Preston. Oh! Whoa, wait, guys, it's falling. No! If I were you, I would have saved Come that pearl. Me. I'm tired of you picking on us. Wait, what's that button? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was so satisfying. The way the sand fell. Wait, did none of you survive? No, I survived. What are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah, Caleb. So do I still suck at Minecraft? Yes. Actually, wait. No, no, I changed my mind, Preston. You don't suck. Wait, wait, what'd you say? Wait, what'd you say? No, I said you suck at Minecraft. Oh, okay, well, perfect. That creeper just kind of okay. showed you what's beneath. You don't suck. 
Wait, yeah, press it yeah, single yeah, song. sure, sure. I've heard it once before, buddy. No, I'm serious. You don't. <laughs> oh my suck. gosh, this TNT's going so high. <laughs> oh man, it's finally raining, men. Hallelujah. Our next trap has literally a history with good and evil. See, back in the day, players figured out that if you place a painting on a wall and remove the blocks behind, you can pass through it secretly. But there was one important question yet to be asked. What was waiting on the other side? A room full of treasure and free diamonds or a one-way ticket to the nether? <laughs> to really upgrade this trap, we need to think about location. I can't just place a bunch of paintings out in the open and expect somebody to come by. So I decided to make this trap play out a little longer. I started by making an entire challenge course. First is an easy parkour, followed by a find a button, and lastly, a secret painting room. As we mentioned earlier, it starts out like a blessing. You walk through and find diamonds, but unfortunately for them, the doors will lock behind you. And let's just say the players who enter this room will uh, not be leaving it alive. I just want to see if you guys can survive this challenge. And if you do, I'm going to stop with the traps. But if you don't, you have to admit that I'm good at Minecraft and I don't suck. Can we all agree on this? So this challenge is a trap, essentially. Uh, maybe. I just wanted to say good luck, have fun. Okay, I accept. Wait, oh, parkour. <laughs> no! Preston, look at me. I, right, Chase, I'm proud of you. Come on, come on. First challenge was parkour. The second challenge is a find the button. This one's a classic. There's a billion buttons in here. Just go, Chase. Oh, no. Come on. Press them all. Guys, what if it's a big explosion? I found it! Now you have to find the room behind the secret painting. Without breaking them, by the way. These are vintage artists. Preston, you're lying. There's nothing to go through here. I've looked at every, I've looked at every painting. All right, how about this? I'm going to eliminate one of the walls. It's not this one. Of course, it's not the one I was just at. Okay, another hint. It's not this left wall either. That's it. I'm going to just force it. Where the heck is this thing? How about this? It's not this left half. It's on the right half. I've literally eliminated... Seven eighths of this room. Oh, guys, oh, I found it! Oh, Caleb, nice! Let's go! I found it! I found it! Wait, it's unlimited diamonds! I'm dead! Ah! <laughs> Wait, where did Preston go? Why did you scream like that? Oh my gosh! Just do it. Tell it. Tell it to my sweet, sweet ears, baby. Fine, Preston, you don't suck. You've clearly proven it. You've 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 pranked us again and again and again. And even this time when we didn't think you would. Man, it's like you just poured honey in my ear. Listen up, Preston. Caleb thinks you don't suck, but we still do. Yeah, okay, you and what army? Me, Josh, and Bree. Frick. <laughs> Naturally, this is my least favorite trap because I'm made of lava, and this is the water trap. Doesn't matter if a player's wearing diamond or nether right, suffocation deals the same damage. And I mean, come on, it's so annoying being stuck where you can't break blocks quickly. But what if I told you that my idea to make this trap better is to make it worse? You probably think I'm sounding crazy right now, but just hang on with me for a moment. Trapping a player in water and suffocate them is already deadly, so how do you upgrade it? It's obviously not fun to die because you lose all of your items, but you can just respawn and go collect them again. So my plan is to trap somebody in a water prison that will make them go insane. So first, I made a water elevator entrance, and then I made the main prison above out of obsidian. Did you know that obsidian takes four entire minutes to break with just a normal fist? And while floating in water, it takes even longer than that. Do you see what I'm doing yet? And if you add an Elder Guardian into the mix, giving the player mining fatigue, you're done. And to make it so they can't drown from suffocation, I'm going to give them a beacon that gives them water breathing. After adding this all together, guess in the comments how long it would take to break one obsidian block. Oh, wait. It would take almost an entire month to break this block. 22 days. It's just so beautiful. Wait, I see his name. I see his name tag. No, you don't. I see him. He went in there. He went in there. Wait, he's inside? Guys, I don't know if we should go in there. Ooh, it's an elevator. Wow. You go in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Wait, we're not fish. It's so pretty. Wait. No, Bree, we can't breathe. Oh, wait a second. Wait, break the glass. Break the glass. Uh, listen, I'm happy to break the glass if you tell me I don't suck anymore. But logistically, it would take about 22 days for you guys to break one of these obsidian blocks. That's a long time. Look, you guys can either rot inside of this for all eternity or just tell me I don't suck. Wait, 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 guys, guys. I think there's a third option. No, there's no third option. Let's make our own server. Oh, yeah, we can just leave the game. All this progress you made to just leave. 